Hello everyone, welcome to Motoko Bootcamp. Welcome to the DAO adventure. We are here to talk about DAOs, how they will impact our life, how you can take advantage of them, and why we've decided to focus Motoko Bootcamp on DAOs. My name is Sebastian, I'm educational lead at Colin State. We are a Web3 Venture Studio building on the internet computer. And this is the first episode of a series of seven videos. This video is about how you can get started and how you can use all the resources and the projects that we have for you. So let's jump in. First question I want to answer is why build a DAO? Why focus on building a DAO? There are many reasons for that. I've selected three of them. The first one is that DAOs represent the future of work. So most of the jobs that we will have in the future haven't been invented yet. <laughs> and so we have a big opportunity with DAOs to reorganize how we work, to create meaning, meaning for our jobs, and also more connections and more flexibility. And so that's why it's super interesting. This is because this is the future of work and you're going to be impacted by that whether you want it or not. The second, the second thing is that we are very early in this. So things are starting to move and we are starting to see pieces coming together, but we are very early. And so as in any early industry, there are a lot of opportunities. So opportunities to make money, but also opportunities to create a project, opportunities to make connections, and just opportunities to be at the right place at the right time. The last thing, and that's the most important for one, uh, that's the most important one for me. We have a lot of problems coming our way. So we have the climate change, we have inequalities, we have educational problems. And I believe in one thing, I believe in collective intelligence, and we need to find systems that can make us collectively smarter and wiser. <laughs> And so I believe DAOs are going to help us achieve that. It's not the only piece of the puzzle, of course, but this is a huge piece and collective intelligence is very, very important to me. So that's why I've decided to focus Motoko Bootcamp around DAOs. Motoko Bootcamp is a program that we run every month. So every month we have students coming and uh, previous students coming back. And the idea is also to have a collective intelligence from Motoko Bootcamp where we can brainstorm together, find solutions, um, leverage DAOs and so on. The way I see DAO and the DAO revolution, for me, it's a, a way for creating my own job and also making friends doing so. Because as I said, most of the jobs in the future, they need to be invented, they need to be figured out. And so you can kind of create your own dream job. So doing what you love, what you're passionate about and finding the right people to surround your yourself with and build your DAO with them. So that's the idea behind this course. Um, a DAO is a very social and technical construct. We will only focus on the technical side of things for this course. Uh, this is a Motoko programming course. And yeah, there are, there are way more to DAOs. There is the economical aspect, the social aspect. There are a lot of things going on, but today and for this course, we will focus on what's the technical behind a DAO, what's the technical aspect. So the course is divided into five levels. Each level corresponds to a specific part of the DAO. So you will build a system of goals and vision for your DAO. Then you will build a database to store the members. You will build a token, that's an important part. You will build a voting system and finally a website. Those are five levels and each of them you have access to resource on YouTube. So on this channel, you will also have videos about Motoko and the internet computer. You have access to tutorials, written tutorials, and of course you have access to the Discord where we can answer any of, our, of your question. All the links will be in the description. And yeah, essentially you have to complete the five levels. A big question, you probably are watching this on YouTube. And so maybe you are part of a bootcamp and there is a bootcamp going on right now. Or maybe you're watching this at another time and you're just found out about this video and you're excited to start this course and you're asking yourself, do I need to join a bootcamp? So we do those bootcamps every month and this course is self-paced. So you can take it at any time, but the bootcamp, they are uh, planned and we do one every month and you should join one. So you can do the course self-paced for sure. It's super interesting. But the most interesting part is also to connect with the community, meet people that are building, brainstorming with us, and also join a team. So if you like this course, I strongly suggest that you join the next bootcamp. Um, 
we also do physical events. So we are moving around in different cities in, in Europe mainly, but we are planning to go beyond that. And so if you want to meet, you can also join us for the physical events. So you don't need to join a bootcamp to complete this course, but I strongly recommend that you do because it's, it's where you have the most fun and where you have the most uh, meaningful connections. Okay, so the first step for this course is to register on our website. So we have a website on motocobootcamp.com and you need to register because you will use the platform to um, help you progress across the levels. So you will need to, you have checkpoints that you need to validate to complete the course and everything happen on the dashboard. I'll show you right now how you can log in, how you can create an internet identity and how you can use the website. All right, so I'm on the website, www.motocobootcamp.com. You should arrive on this page, join the Web3 Revolution, and the idea is that you log in on the dashboard. So you can also read, we have information, and you can register for the bootcamps. But today what you need to do is to log in. So you click on this blue button. It will activate something called Internet Identity, which is authentication system for applications built on the Internet computer. And so if you're familiar with the ecosystem, you probably already have one identity. If you're not, you will need to go here and click on create new and create a new passkey. So I'll do it to show you how it works. You create a passkey. You might have some uh, of your, if you have password managers, they might pop up. I don't like to use them for my passkey, so I'll store it directly on my device. You can click on continue here. Depending on your device, you might have different pop up. For example, I have a Mac right now, and so I have Touch ID activating. I validate it and then I need to prove I'm not a, a robot. And that's it. My internet identity has been created. So you have a number that you need to save. Don't worry if someone sees your number, it doesn't reveal anything about yourself. Uh, it's, not, it's not private information. And so you save it and you continue and then you should be able to log in with it. So it takes a few seconds and that's it. We are logging on the dashboard. So we need a few information. You can choose any username that you want. So for example, this time I'll take hello YouTube. Then I'll use uh, my email. So this is my email. And then we also need your GitHub username. So my GitHub username is uh, seb underscore ICB. Then you click on join. It takes a few seconds to register your profile. And that's it. You should see uh, this pop-up or maybe a new one if I've made modification to the website. Essentially, this is a collaborative website where we can see progress about the course. So I can see the dashboard. Right now we have 82 students, uh, 155 projects completed and 23 graduates. The idea is that you, you are going to use this dashboard to submit your projects when you work on each level I've talked about. You will go to submit and use that to verify your projects. So we don't need to do more on the dashboard right now. If you're logging, that's already correct. Um, so now I will move to the next step, which is to use our GitHub repository. Let's talk about how you can get started with the course. So we have a GitHub repository on Motoko Bootcamp slash DAO Adventure. This is where you have all the resource and all the projects instructions that you need. So you have the link here, github.com slash Motoko Bootcamp slash DAO Adventure. It will also be in the description if you're watching the YouTube video. Okay, so I am on the repository and the repository is divided into different set of resources. You have everything indicated in the readme. So make sure to take some time to read all the information here. But essentially we have three different set of resources in the repository. We have the lessons. So here you have uh, 15 chapters, which corresponds to essentially pieces of information. For example, here it's about fundamental concept of the internet computer. So you will learn what is a canister, what is Motoko exactly, what is WebAssembly, all sorts of concepts that we need. And you have 15 of them. Then we have the levels. So the levels correspond to the project you need to work on. We have five of them and you have instructions. So you have your mission essentially explaining what this level is about. Then you have the task. So it's precisely what you need to do, what code you need to create. You even have a set of resources that essentially will 
this set of resources about what you need to read and what you need to know to complete this level. So for example, for the first level, you need chapter one to chapter four, and also you need uh, some documentation and another, another resource. And then you have the source folder, so you have a few files, um, account.motoko, http.motoko, and main.motoko. This is in main.motoko that you will need to complete the code. So we have already added a structure for you to get started. You have the functions and how they should interface, but you don't have the code. So the idea is that you complete, for all those functions, you will need to complete the code. So, um, there are two ways to start with this repository. Either you are locally ready to build on the IC, so maybe you already have DFX installed, uh, you already have all the tools installed. And so if that's the case, you probably already know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can use this repository to essentially create a virtual environment that you can use to build on the internet computer. So let me show you. This is called Codespace. You only need to have a GitHub account, so make sure that you are logged in with your GitHub account. Then you need to go here and click on Create a code space. Essentially, this repository is already set up with all the tools, extensions, and um, software that you need to build on the internet computer. And when you create on Create the code space, it will generate this interface for you. It takes around 30 seconds to load everything that you need. And then you can just build from here. So you don't need to install anything locally and that's super easy to get started. Let me show you. Actually, you should have uh, DFX, which is a very important tool that we need for this week. All right, so that's it. We have we have our code space loaded. It might take us more, more time than expected, especially if it's the first time that you set it up. So if it doesn't work, try to refresh. Also, I had issues with Brave in the past. I'm using Chrome right now and I don't have any issue. So yeah, make sure to take the time that you need to set it up. Once it's set up, essentially, you can start writing your code. So in main.mo, and that's essentially where you need to work on the five levels. So you will see that the, the code is divided into different levels. Um, everything that we do happens in the same file. So we only need to use this main.motoko. The other files are essentially module that you need to import, but you don't need to modify anything. It's already there for you. Next thing I want to talk about is how you test your code, so how you get feedback on what you're doing. And there are two ways to do it. There is the local way, which is fast and good and very easy to do. So you run one command, which I will show you, and you get instant feedback on if, if your functions are correctly implemented or not. You should always prioritize local. And then once you're confident that your code is correct, at least the test is passing locally, you can go to mainnet and then do the, the real test, which is on the platform. But this is slower because we are using on-chain verification um, and you might not have so good feedback on what the error exactly is because we are still working on improving our, our dashboard. So always local first and then on the mainnet. Like this one, we need to run a first command to install DFX. So just run DFX start. And I'll zoom a bit so you can see. This is necessary to install DFX for the first time. And then we can open a new tab. So you will have DFX running on this tab. DFX is a software that we use to deploy canisters, uh, start a local replica for the internet computer and all sorts of configuration and purposes. Okay, now let me show you how you can test your code. So let's say I have implemented uh, the level one. I think I'm doing good, I want to test it. The command is mops test level one. And so as you can see, we have an indication that it doesn't work, the test is not validated. So if the test is not validated, you have some indication here about which function is not correct. So in our case, it was set manifesto is not correct and get manifesto as well. So we need to work on that and make sure that the next time we pass all the tests. Okay, so now let's say I've been working on my code. I believe my level one is now correct. So I will run the test again. This time we pass all the tests. So I'm confident that it's probably working locally. Now the next step is to deploy your canister. So to deploy your canister, you will run this command, which is dfx deploy 
hyphen hyphen playground. So you need to add this flag. Otherwise, we would need to set up um, cycles so credits and we would need to pay for it. For this whole course, you can use the playground. The playground is a space where you can deploy canisters for free on the main internet computer. So your canister is really going to be deployed live. But we have some limitation with what we can do. And also our canisters will be deleted after 20 minutes. But 20 minutes is more than enough to verify and use the platform. So use the FX deploy playground, then it will give you a canister ID and compile your code and then deploy the code inside your canister. So once we have deployed, we can see the candid UI, so the graphical interface. Of course, we have all the methods from the other level. So maybe what you want to do is like, if you're working on level one, you can comment out level two, level three, level four, and level five. And then remove the comments when you are on working on those level. In our case, we want to test. So add goal, add member, uh, no, not add member, just add goal and um, all the other methods of level one. And so once we are confident, we can go to the, the dashboard. So let me go back to Motoko uh, Bootcamp. Once we have completed the verification locally, we can move to the dashboard. I'll need to log in again. And then we go to submit, we take the canister ID, so you can find it here. Also uh, in your codes, in your code space, so here you have it. We submit here and we need to select which level we are trying to verify. So in this case, it's level one. Click on submit. It should take around 10 to 30 seconds. And we will receive a message indicating if you are good or not. And that's it. We have level one completed. So with that completed, you can see in your profile that you are now level one. And so you can move to level two and start doing the same thing, testing locally. And then once you're done, you can go to the dashboard. The idea with this course is that it's only the beginning of your journey. So whenever you complete the course, you will receive the diploma that you see on the left from Motoko Bootcamp. And after that, we have a lot of events and programs that you can engage with. Uh, for example, we are doing the ICP Community Conference. I'll provide the link in the description. It's an annual event where the ICP community meets and we talk about why we love the internet computer, what kind of projects we are building on, and all sorts of things. We have the Entrepreneur in Residence program where you can join us and you can build your startup in Web3. And also, if you're interested in finding a job or, or having a grant to work on a project, you can also have this opportunity. So if you have any idea or project that you want to share, make sure to get in touch with us and I see you in the next video.